Today we're painting an orca. And I went online to find a photograph to use as a model. And here it is. And here's the template that I created. Be sure to stay to the end of the lesson to see what we're going to paint next. Let's get started. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, put some water in your palette. Take your template and put it in the middle of your page. We're using our liner brush here. Now let's create that black color. And to create that color, we're using burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And it's about equal amounts. If you have too much brown, it'll look more brown and not black. And if you have too much blue, then it's going to look more like a blue-gray color. This looks about right. And then go ahead and outline your template with that. Just going around it like this. Around we go. And there it is. Then go ahead and wet your brush and let's Fade those lines. Now you notice on the well there's some white and about right here there's some white. But right now I'm just fading the lines here. Let's go up and do the part here. You can fill in that with some color there. Spread that paint. Let's come up around here, around the nose. I need to wet my brush a little bit here. Wet it about here. Now this is a white, and there, but there's some shadow where that white is, so. This is a little bit dark to me, and I'm going to dab it a little bit here. I don't want it quite as dark. More like that. And then down like this. Now this flipper right here is solid color, so go ahead and fill that with the color. Now we're going to build the layers slowly and get that dark black color in time. Now there is a white spot about right here, like that, about that shape. Like that. Need to mix some more paint. That's good. Let's put some down here on the tail. Now the tail is white but there's some of that dark color along here, just a little bit along the edges here. And they're kind of not a straight line. There's a little indentation there. Come down here and you see a little bit of the black here. And then bring it up here like that. That's looking pretty good. So here is where some white space is going to be. And you want to create a white space here like that. 
And right here is another part of his flipper. And let's fill that in with some paint. Come around here like that. Let's paint this spot here. Go up along here. Come back here on this fin. Now, this part right here is white. And then about right here is where that dark color starts again. And it connects to the flipper here. So we want to you can make the line there and then start filling that in. Now this is pretty light and that's okay. We're going to slowly fill it into a darker space. Let's fill in all this space with some paint. Like that. That's looking pretty good. Now I notice I went on a line here a little bit and I don't like this. And I'm just gonna wet my brush with water and lift that out. You see how easy that is? Just relax your grip with your brush. And then I'm gonna just dab that. And there it disappeared. I have a little couple spots here that was splattered. And I'm just going to wet my brush here like that and make that disappear. Now I want to stop and give it a good dry. Part of watercolor is building those layers and by drying it you're setting the paint. to mix some more paint here on my palette. Okay. Now this white spot is needs to be a little bit more right here. And that is easy to fix. But I load your liner brush and we're going to darken the spot here. Come down here on the in and paint that and then spread this line up to the nose bring it here now I'm gonna disappear make that white spot disappear and create another spot right here but let's darken the area here now the eye is about like right here. So I'm going to leave a white space for now. And then bring it here. Now there's another white area here. Now this looks a little gray and that's okay. I'm going to fix that in a minute. Let's spread some of this paint here. Now this animal has very dark space but there's some areas that look a little more gray so this fin has some gray and I want to leave a little bit of the gray like there's some lighter reflection on it just like that and then come down here and add some more paint and darken that area Need to make more of the mixture. That's looking good. Start here. 
and bring it up here like that back up here along here see now that's becoming that nice rich black color that you see on the orca let's put some here and leave a little white spot or a gray it's kind of the light reflecting it up here Over this spot here. Now this other fin need to darken. And again, I want to leave a little white, some of the gray area. There's a little light reflecting right on the edge of that flipper like that okay let's bring some of that paint more here okay let's stop for a minute clean your brush now i'm just wetting my brush and i want to lift some of the gray here and make it more white and I'm just carefully wetting that spot there and I'm leaving some of the gray just faintly give it a little dab that's looking pretty good just like that. I like that there's a little gray like that. Now this is looking a little splotchy, but I'm going to fix that and give this another good dry. Sometimes when you something in your watercolor, if it's wet and you get it wetter, it gets muddy very quickly. So to prevent that, I'm going to dry this and then add more paint and it's going to be less water and more of the paint. Okay, so you can see that I'm, I'm slowly building those layers up. And this is mostly paint and less of the water. I'm going to come around here. I want that nice, rich black color. That's looking pretty good. Let's bring it up here. Put some on the fin. Bring it around here. Up here. As you see, can see, it's more of a solid color, and that's that's what I want. Put some up here. Around the nose. A little bit here. Now I left some of the gray so that it, it gives you the impression that the eye is there. Bring it around. Fill in 
the space here like that. And it's always good to pause and step back. Now, the line here is kind of disappeared and we want to make some shadows of the, the jaw there and a little bit of teeth, kind of like that and then bring that down a little below. That's a little dark, but I'm going to fix that by lifting some of that paint out. I just want it to be the faint impression. And that's what I like about watercolor. You can get these very subtle, soft touches. And it's all with just adding water, no chemicals, just water. That's looking pretty good. And then stop and evaluate if you need to do more. I'm stopping and looking and I love my happy little, happy little orca swimming around in the water. I love painting animals. They're so fun. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I know I did. See you next time. Next time, we'll paint a blue heron. That should be fun.